right? Uh, this is log two. Okay, this one comes shortly after log one because currently having a bit of breakfast. A bit unconventional because I have chocolate ice cream here. On the top layer here is dark dark chocolate. The inside, uh, just normal chocolate. And here you have Niseko, which is the brand. Oh uh, yeah, this thing is wet. Uh, well, while ice cream is melting, do have some things to think about. Um, and also, why I still am staying in music. Uh, and not uh, something that's not lucrative and also quite I think rare in a sense because it's hard to survive you know, as I said it's not lucrative and it's hard to survive uh, being on it full time now <clears throat> now uh, music is a, is a form of music I would say now it's a form of uh, stress relief stress relief Always to just kill time when you don't when you don't feel like doing anything else. Um, in essence, if let's say work is just out there to kill you, then when you come back, uh, all dead beat, um, or like the Beatles song "Hard Day's Night." It's sometimes it's also a way to unwind, but it's also a way. To a, a, a sign of hope lah, a sign of finally doing something different that most other people don't do and there's there's a certain allure to it there's a certain attraction that I can't fully explain you know I've been having this since what 2010 2011 except that the passion hadn't fully matured yet and even I myself had not matured in character yet so it's a whole different story back then. <clears throat> but now, of course, um, with a little bit more freedom uh, and a bit more independence to work on being a musician, there will be certain struggles, there will be resistance, setback, hardship, whatever, whatever uh, uncertainty that comes. But I can safely say that I'm a bit more prepared to take on all this stuff than I was before. Mentally prepared, of course. So that's one of the most positive changes uh, and one of and signs of maturity that um, has come uh, in the past 10 years. And also um, being able to set myself free from a, an audio or a mindset that I put myself through uh, after all those years. It's a little difficult to explain because uh, given my condition and also because of uh, my mindset at the time was not very convent was not conventional per se and it's not like what most other people would think at the time. Um, yeah. And it was also in a way very self-condemning I think it would be best left to another vlog to to explain, or maybe I'll split it up into several smaller ones, um, documenting maybe several periods where there were changes or turning points that you know described how I uh, reacted, how this uh, mindset had changed me. I'll put me through a lot of uh, events and things like that. Now I'm not being specific enough, but when I have the time, they'll probably come up a lot to explain it, to explain it bit by bit, lah, at least in a chronological order. So then you get a better understanding of where I'm from and also, uh, or at least you get a clearer picture of who I was back then and why and maybe some questions will come along the way but I'm ex uh, I'm anticipating it anyways if you do see it or if you do have them so it's all good anyways that's just a quick log for log 2 I'll be having my chocolate donut here 
and the rest of my ice cream while it's still melting. And then you guys have, and then you guys can use this time to ponder over uh, some things you might have for me. So that's about it.